Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to group sales by month using an aggregate query. So you could take your entire list of orders and the order totals and then group them together and show a sum for January, February, March, and so on. Today's question comes from Carl from El Paso, Texas, a gold member. Carl says, I have all my orders with their totals calculated in a query. How can I show the total for each month of the year? This is actually something I get asked a lot, Carl. I cover it in my aggregate queries lessons and in Access Expert 11, I show this example specifically, but let's go through it real quick. Here's my blank database template that you could download from my website. It's free of charge. I'll put a link down below. The blank template just has some empty forms in it. Let's create a table to store our orders. So your order table would normally have an order ID, which would be your auto number. You'd probably have a customer ID in here, so you can relate it back to your customers. You'll have your order date in here, which will be a date time value. And then you may have your order total in the order table itself as a currency, or you may, like I do, have an order details table that has all of the line items, then you add those up. Either way, it won't matter for this example. Let's assume that you've got the order total in the order table. If not, you'll just have to make another query and add those all up. I cover that in other lessons. All right, you'd have all the rest of your fields in here, like your bill to address, your ship to address, all that stuff, but this is all we need for this lesson. I'll save this as my order T, order table. Primary key, yes, that'll be my order ID. Let's open it up and put some data in it. Now, the customer IDs won't matter for this example. We would have a customer table, and that would be related to the customers. For this, I'll just put some numbers in, right? So customer one placed an order on 1-1, and the order was for $15. Customer two placed an order on 3-1 for $26, and so on. Customer one placed another order again on 3-4 for $13, and so on. So add a bunch of stuff in. Okay, put a bunch of different orders in for different customers with some different dates in here. All right, notice I got three from March. Actually, let's make this one here, two from July. There we go, okay? Now, what I wanna do is I wanna make another query to group these together by month and then show the total for each month. So we need an aggregate query. Now, if you've never done an aggregate query before, a totals query, I have other lessons on that. Go watch those first. I'll put links down below in the description below the video. Go watch my aggregate query first. Then come back to this lesson, understanding how aggregate queries work. So let's close this. Now this could be a another query too. Okay, if you have, like I said before, if you have your order details in a separate table, total them up and then you'll use that query to make the aggregate query, right? Queries into queries into queries. So now let's go up to create and then query design. We're gonna make a query based on that order table. Now this is going to be sales by month. So the first thing you wanna do is bring in the order date, and then you wanna bring in the order total. Now let's turn this into an aggregate query now. We wanna group by order date, and then order total, we're gonna to sum that up. All right, let's save this as sales by month Q, and let's give it a run. Now it looks just like the data in the table. What happened here? Well, we set up group by on the order date specifically. So it's gonna group all of the records from this particular date together. So all of your records on 4-2, for example. Okay, if I go back to the table, if I did have two records in here, two sales from the same exact date, 3-1, let's say. All right, notice I'll have, if it, if it works the right way in the query, it'll have one record for $39 instead of those two. So watch this. See, there it is, it groups them together, but we don't want it by date, we want it by month. So let's go back in here, design view. Now to group those together, we have to break this down into its components, the year and the month. So over here, let's create two calculated fields. I'm gonna create order year, colon, and that's going to be the year of order date, just like that. Okay, and we'll do the same thing for month order month is going to be the month, the month function of order date. Okay, let's run it now and see what we get. Look at that, it breaks it down, so there's the year, there's the month. Now let's get rid of order date. 
And I'm going to move the order total off to the right over here like that. And now run it. Now look what we got. Now since order date specifically isn't in the query, it doesn't group by that. It only groups by year and then groups by month where these are unique. Notice all of the threes, all the marches are together. All of the Julys are together. And that is how you can group them together by year and by month using the year and month functions. And again, I cover this in my Access Expert 11 class and in my date time seminar. I'll put links to both of those down in the description below the video. Want to learn more about your monthly sales query? Well, in the extended cut for members, I'm going to show you a couple of different things. First of all, I'll show you how to put the month name in your query. So if you don't want to see three and you want to see March, we can do that. Next, I'll show you how to get the year from a form. Instead of seeing all of the years here, we can put the year value right here on a main menu form, for example, and that will show up in the query when we hit the Show Sales button. Then we'll make little buttons to change the year. So if you want to go back to 2019, 2018, 2017, or forward, you can do that here, and it'll change the value in that button in that box. Then I'll show you how to set up a field name alias. So instead of seeing sum of orders here, you can see month name, for example. And that's all in the extended cut for members only. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and other perks. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. But don't worry, these tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, and feel free to share it wherever you think it might help people who are interested in access. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to be notified every time I post a new video. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted. So if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link below to join my mailing list. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over three hours long, and you can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1, and that is free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there. If you have a specific problem you need help with or you'd like to discuss having a database built for your needs, I do offer one-on-one -on -one consulting. Be sure to follow my blog and find me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.